Hi, and it's Rob from Lapbook, and I'm here at White Peak Nice with Rob. Hi, Rob. Hi. <laughs> okay, so you're here at Furious Pastimes, and you're selling actual live real knives. Absolutely, there's, there's no foam here. This is uh, functional knife wear, sharp yep. stuff. Um, not for use on the field, but yep. these are for use on, on the kitchen. Yep. Um, or for whittling sticks, or uh, I do a lot of historical pieces as well. So this is the real hard stuff. And that's what really caught my eye with the fact that they are real utility knives. You could use them for cooking or for carving wood or leather or whatever. Absolutely. Uh, uh, my particular passion is, is not weaponry. Yep. Um, it's about functional knives. Um, most of us use knives in the, in the kitchen. Yep. Um, why not have nice ones? Um, I also am a, a reenactor as well. Yep and I got interested in the history of knives and how they came to be the shape that they are. So uh, that's also a passion of mine. So, do you want to take a look at a couple? Of course, of course. If you maybe start something like a, something for cooking perhaps or? Absolutely. Yeah. Um, so if we, we start off with this one, um, yeah. this is, uh, most people recognize it as a fairly standard uh, cook's knife. Yeah. What a lot of people don't know is that that design hasn't actually been around that long, you know, okay. in terms of history. It's only been around about six, seven hundred years. Yeah, for nice knife timbered knife, that's not long. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. Um, many of my knives are based on historical patterns. Yeah. Um, one of the joys of, of the modern whale world is that uh, you can look up references online um, from all the museums. So most of mine are based on Museum of London finds from yep. the Thames Silt. Um, and I can be pretty sure of the sort of uh, age and the use of them because yeah. of that. That's cool. I think we'll look at a historical life and then we'll try and make it a bit more util utilitarian for everyone. So because for me it's a bit more historical? Yeah, absolutely. Um, this one here is, uh, is based on a find that we can quite accurately date to about 1580. To okay. 1610, so yep. it's a Tudor knife. Um, this one would have been for uh, for a Protestant Cath uh, household rather than Catholic, uh, yep. with the fleur de lis on the top. Yep. Um, it's not a terribly practical knife. Okay. Um, this would have been worn on a belt in a sheath and taken to the dinner table. But I don't know about you, Rob. I wouldn't really want no, to be no, putting that no, near no, my no, mouth. No. Uh, bearing in mind it is sharp. Yeah, that, um, that does not look like a pen knife anywhere near my face. Absolutely, it's much more for show. Yeah, uh, for something like that. That's cool. And we mentioned things like, car like carving and bushcraft. Um, so can we look at something like that? So, oh, yeah. this one, um, it's not really about the length of the blade uh, yeah. in many of the of the pursuits in in the wood. Um, it's about having the right blade the right tool for the right job yeah so this one is used for uh, carving sticks um, yeah. but also particularly um, for the hunters it's used for skinning okay so uh, coming from Scotland or working in Scotland like I do yeah um, these are often used by the gamekeepers mm -hmm. um, a very short wide blade it's yeah. very strong very powerful and easy to control but also wonderful for carving cool that's good. Cool. Anything else you want to show us at all? Yeah. So uh, oh, this, yeah. Is, this is an unusual knife. Um, out of all the knives, this is one of the few that I have that has oh, that's a blunt point. point. Yeah. Yes. And the blade itself is also not sharp. Yeah. Um, this is an East of England oyster shucker. All right. So this is actually designed so that you can go inside an oyster and you can twist open the case. Yeah. Um, a very strong but quite narrow blade, yeah. and obviously it doesn't need to be sharp. No, you just, not for that, no. Absolutely, and that's one of my fascinations with knives. They're all about function yeah. as well as form. So you're trying to bring back the utility of the knife. Absolutely back right. Into, that's brilliant. Absolutely right. Well, thank you very much, Rob. That's been really, really brilliant. You're welcome. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Can you do a little bit on how they can find you online, etc.? Yeah. Yeah. We'll add that in. So Rob, now that we've done that, how do people get in touch with you? Absolutely. Um, I'm on all social media. Yeah. So um, if people like to look things up, I'm on uh, whitepeakknives.co.uk. Yeah. Um, similar on Facebook and on Instagram as well. Okay. Um, more than happy to chat knives. I can talk about these all day long. So if anyone wants to know how they're made or what they're for, yeah. or any, got any questions, drop me a note. Okay. Uh, it'd be lovely to, lovely to hear from you. That's great, Rob. Thank you.